Hi everyone, this is John. Uh, today I'm not going to talk about uh, locks in general, uh, but more about security or digital security in this case. Uh, this is a 5 pin lock and it has about 50,000 combinations. Uh, for this lock I will feel secure because it's quite unlikely that someone will cut every combination of those 50,000 keys and sit all night at my front door to try every combination. That's mostly because uh, it's quite an, quite an expensive task to do so, uh, it takes quite a long time, there are a lot of different key ways, so you will just attack this lock. Uh, if I get a different key way, then it won't work anymore, then you will need to cut another 50,000 or 100,000 keys. But for digital locks or passwords, it's a different story. Uh, there, um, if we have 50,000 combinations, I can just check it in half an hour uh, on quite slow hardware. So it's necessary to have a good password. Uh, this is one way to generate a password, and that's using dice. We can use these dice because we use them as random number generators and uh, random numbers are good for security. Uh, humans are predictable if you ask people to choose a number between 0 and 10 they will quite likely choose 3 or 7 but never a 2 or 4 or whatever. But dice don't have memory, every roll is independent. This tree says nothing about this one, for instance. We've got a huge list from Diceware. Each five dice rolls represent a word, and multiple of those words will be our passwords. It's best to do this as an offline process, so to print the whole list, um, roll your dice in private, uh, write down your results, remember the results, and then destroy the results. So there's no trace ever. Let's get started and generate some passwords. Here are the first two. It's a 5 and a 6. 5, 1, 2, 6, 6, 5, 3. Let's do another one goes to 5 number. Uh, these five, 5 numbers and 6. 5, 6. 5, 4, and 5. 4, 5. So these are our numbers, and now we just have to check our list. I'm checking for five, six. Five six five six five five six five six five one two that looking for two six six five three two six six five three Six six five three. J A W K. Six five six five five six five six five four five. Five six five four five. Five five six five four five. Keys. Twenty five. Twenty five three three. Forty five. 
one four five two five. One four five two five. Bombay. Now we generated a six word um, password. Um, this is uh, 6 to the power 30 and that's quite a huge number so this password is strong if this results in a, um, a sentence like I ate some broccoli this morning well then it's no strong password anyway even with this method same goes if the um, number generated are all numbers or all semicolons so for in <laughs> instance all you did was roll 66662 semicolon and if you rolled it for all then it will just be uh, six semicolons uh, after each other and that won't be a good password either so this does not guarantee a strong password but it does give you a great foundation to to build on this is the English version of Diceware uh, but there are more lists of different words and there are more lists like in different languages uh, for instance I have one list here that's the Dutch version using this method and using Dice does not guarantee a good password and you still need to use um, your common sense uh, but it will give you a great approach um, some uh, like prefer to choose the words but that's quite a bad idea um, just let the um, dice do their work and uh, go with it <laughs> Um, in general, I would recommend using something like um, Password Manager. Uh, password Manager is a uh, fault and it saves all your passwords and generates new passwords if you want it to. Thank you for watching. Um, this is not a good password as I've published it here. Remember it destroy the piece of paper and you are done this will be a good way to generate the password thank you for watching see you next time bye